What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, go ahead and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, leave a like. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone is doing well. I know it's been quite tough on all of us, uh, but hang in there. Um, for me, I just came back from a run actually and just thought I would make this video. Um, I was kind of thinking of ideas and wanna, what I sort of wanted to make for this week's video. This idea just came to me and I just decided to run with it. So um, sit tight and uh, let's jump right into today's video. I just kind of thought that I will go ahead and talk and critique my top five best Instagram looks, my personal looks, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, man, I, I kind of just, because uh, sometimes it's kind of it's weird with Instagram, uh, certain pictures that I'm like really feeling my outfit and I'm like, oh man, I, like, I feel like I over... I overdid myself in a way or like I styled it really well don't actually always do that well but then the ones that are a bit more simplistic like an all black outfit or like an all white outfit always end up like doing super well but yeah I guess I guess that's Instagram but to be quite frank for me I'm always so way more into like things that look a bit intricate and that look like you can actually put in effort in terms of styling yourself. All right, so with these five looks, guys, they're in no particular order. Um, these are just looks that, in my opinion, I felt like were really well done. It's things that I would like probably wear again. Uh, some of it, I feel like I kind of pushed myself out of my comfort zone. Um, with this first look, uh, I'll jump right into it. We have the Calvin Klein boots with the en plisse trousers. The, uh, a cold wool vest and a white top, a uh, white tee and a hat. One of the things that I really liked the most is sort of the hat I added onto this outfit. I feel like that that was such a good way to finish off. Not as, I wouldn't call this simplistic, but I feel like this is like an already well done outfit, you know? I feel like if I would have left it with just the white tee, the um, a cold wool vest and just the en plisse, it still would have probably looked nice. If I would have added a beanie, I feel like it would have kind of looked like any other Instagram pic. So I feel like me adding the round hat was such a good touch on this outfit. Um, this is definitely something that I would wear again. I feel like, especially in the summer, it's quite hard to come out with like really good clean outfits. I feel like a lot of the times in the summer, you're kind of either wearing all white or like just the simple pair of nice pants and a t-shirt. So this is definitely, um, uh, something that I would wear in the spring or summer and I kind of just like how everything flows I think the pose also helped the, the the outfit but I definitely love the fact that I added a vest the crossover uh, bag that wasn't necessarily needed and just like adding the boots instead of a sneaker or like um, a derby I feel like that was such a such a good touch I've worn these with a pair of like uh, my pair of Balenciaga derbies and it still looks good but I feel like this Calvin Klein boot just really elevated the look in my opinion so yeah so that's it for look one moving on to the second outfit right, for the second look we have this sort of military um, esque look that I honestly love so much first of all because there isn't any black piece that I'm wearing here so I'm super happy about that this was actually at work so I have the Balenciaga flannel uh, with some thrifted cargo pants and uh, my pair of Margiela boots now first things first the Margiela boots look so beat up and I just love that about about this picture of the, 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 the yellow shoelaces I love how the pair just kind of looks like it's been through hell to be quite honest which it has uh, this was in the middle of winter so it was like super cold I threw on my acne um, turtleneck, which was such a good touch. I love the fact that it's a, um, it's a, it's a beige colorway. I love the fact that it's not a black turtleneck um, and the flannel to finish the look. All around, definitely something that I would wear again. Um, I love the fact that I combined all these colors together and somehow made it work. Um, uh, the flannel was such a good touch. I feel like obviously if I would have just kept the acne turtleneck it also would have been a good look but just like the way the the flannel is sitting on the body um how it flows and everything it looks perfectly fine um and honestly the boots like, stole the show in my opinion in terms of this look um i just it's i don't know i feel like sometimes like matching colors like green on green 
sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and in this particular picture I feel like it worked it worked out really really well um, and yeah this is definitely again something that I would wear I guess everyone kind of liked it and yeah definitely a good military look for this uh, for the second look moving on to look number three again we have a simple but such clean look here we have the Calvin Klein boots which you guys know are probably my favorite boots that I own uh, we have the Christian Dada trousers and a top that was gifted um, uh, by, uh, I think the brand is, oh, I forgot the brand, but anyway, I will link it down below. I still, I still wear the shirt, uh, the top every now and then. And to finish off the look, the hat. So in this look, to be quite frank, I feel like um, this is, again, something simplistic, but I just really love how everything flows. Again, like the pause kind of elevates the look quite a bit with the way the pants are sitting on the body, the shirt, the hat, and the boots. Um, this is definitely something that I would wear again. I love the fact that I paired the trousers with not a black or white top, but a different color top. And adding the hat just really, really did elevate the look. These are things that I like to do with my personal looks. It's just always finding ways to elevate uh, a rather simple look by adding either jewelry or by adding a nice hat. A lot of the times, if um, if I wear an old black outfit, I'll either add this hat or like the round hat there, or maybe even a beanie, but I kind of feel like beanies are sort of like, you know, like I wear this every single time. So sometimes I feel like changing it up does help to elevate a look. And in this case, I feel like I did such a great job in my opinion. Uh, and the belt hanging is, is also a good touch. So yeah, uh, definitely one of my favorite looks. I love everything here, like um, just the TV on the side, the broken like desk. Uh, everything looks great to me. So yeah, definitely a look that I would wear again. And it's sort of like a spring summer look, I guess. Uh, mix and match in colors. And yeah, that's it for look three. Let's move on to look number four. All right guys, so look number four. Look number four, we have something that I would probably never actually wear. I think this was definitely out of my comfort zone, but I absolutely loved, loved styling these pieces together. At first, I kind of felt like it looked tacky, but honestly, as I kind of like walked around with it and kind of just, you know, put on the few last touches, I was super in love with the outfit. So we have Gucci loafers, Gucci socks. It's an all Gucci outfit with the Gucci trousers, cardigan, and this beautiful, Gucci jacket that I've actually styled a few times and to be quite frank This is such a good outfit now that I look at it and now that I think about it This is not something that I would personally Wear, you know, so it was so good for me to sort of get out of my comfort zone and sort of like mix all these prints and these colors together I love the pose and I love the touch of the Gucci sunglasses on this outfit and the fact that I'm not wearing a beanie or a hat or anything of that sort. I feel like already I had done so much with the outfit that there was nothing else to do in terms of like even jewelry. Like I feel like keeping it this simple was the right um, way to go about it. Uh, the trousers fit amazing. Um, I love the fact that I kind of went with a loafer instead of like a boot or maybe a derby to showcase the socks like it was good that I kind of just chose like because it is quite um, it's definitely not a casual look right like this is something that you would probably wear to like a I don't know a red carpet or something so I kind of like went um, yeah by just choosing to go with the loafers I think kind of like brings it it doesn't necessarily bring down the look but I feel like it kind of like shows that you know what you're doing in a way you know if that makes sense so for me, this was such a good touch. Like the touch of the loafers was was great. Um, I love the color of the trousers. And yeah, and the coat obviously was such a statement piece. And the thing is, with looks like this, um, I feel like because the coat is already so loud, you might be tempted to kind of go a little bit more low key. So like if you look at some of the ways that I've styled this coat in the past, it's like just a pair of like black, trousers and like 
you know, um, the outfit looks amazing just because the attention is on that coat. But I really love the fact that in this look, you can kind of see a bit of the cardigan. You can see the pop of the white shirt underneath the cardigan and the trousers and the loafers. So there's so much going on in this outfit and yet it doesn't look too try hard. It doesn't look forced. And for me, this was definitely a push into an uncomfortable sort of like outfit. But I personally think that like I love the way that I ended up sort of coming together with this. I felt so good wearing this outfit basically, even though it's not something that I would like usually wear. So yeah. All right, so look number five is an all black simple outfit, but just that statement coat is so good. I honestly would have loved for these for the trousers that I was wearing to have been showcased a bit more. But yeah, we have the Andemir Mr. Boots here. We have the Femme d'Expression trousers. I think my top is Isimiyaki and the undercover coat. Now, obviously, the undercover coat is just such a statement piece. Like, it just honestly steals the show in this look my opinion and I just love everything about this outfit I love how simple it is I love how much um, like this is something that honestly at work I would wear every day like this is definitely my go-to outfit every single time you know obviously the coat makes the whole outfit sort of stand out these trousers sit so well on the body and they have such a like such a sick cut and uh, to pair it with the Andemulus, the Mila Mister boots that have like all those like, that have the shoelaces in the back, I think was such a good touch. I honestly believe that this is probably a look that anybody can pull off, to be honest. And there isn't any sort of like creativity. I think it's just like the way that everything flows is perfect. And if you actually look at each piece specifically, like if you analyze the pieces, they all have such good cuts and such good proportions. Like the shirt is amazing. The trousers, like I said, have such an amazing cut. The boots with the laces in the back is such a good, um, a good touch on the boots. And of course the coat. The coat is super long, but again, I'm six foot two, so it fits super well on me. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I honestly think that this is, uh, this is such a good look. This is a look that anybody could pull off. And uh, yeah, that's it for look number five. Boom. All right, guys. So that will conclude today's video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like. And for all these looks, you can follow me on my Instagram at G-R-E-G-N-T-O-R-E. -E. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.